All right, so um, let's uh, let's do parts B and C on Investigation 17. Here we we, we if you're following along kind of chronologically, then we just did part A together. And I want to th run through parts B and C a little bit more quickly, um, but it's the same set of instructions, right? Our goal is to figure out how many dots are in figure N. But the way we're going to do it is we're not just going to count up the dots. We're going to try to see how the pattern is growing, see if we can come up with a number sentence for figure 1, and see if we can apply that same number sentence, that same thinking, to figure 2, and then to figure 3. And remember, the whole goal is to sort of be able to relate all of the parts back to the figure number so that we can write down a formula for figure n. Okay, so that's really the, the goal here. So let's, uh, I think I'm just going to give you one uh, answer for uh, each of parts B and C. Uh, and it, just beware that it should go without saying almost that there are multiple ways to approach this, right? Um, but here we go. So for part B, this is these are the figures that we have. So we have a, almost like a Z shape for figure one. Figure two looks like that. And then figure three looks like that. So, um, so okay. He, here's one way that I kind of think about uh, doing this. I, I I think about taking the center in each of these figures. So the center here's going to be three, four, and then five. And then the leftovers, um, I kind of collect together. I call this. Uh, you know, two times one. And here I would maybe call it two times two. And here I would call it two times three. Okay? So then for figure four, um, uh, well, so we're going three, four, five. So for figure four, the red part should be six. And then the blue part should be, it looks like the 2 is remaining fixed, so it's going to be 2 times. And then this number is changing, but it goes along with the figure number, so it's going to be 2 times 3. Okay? So this number here is the figure number. The 2 is just remaining 2 every time. And then for the red stuff, now the red stuff is a little trickier. It's not it, the red stuff is changing, but it's not the figure number. It's uh, looks like the figure number. Uh, you can maybe try figure number times three, then you would get three here, but you would get six there. So figure number times three doesn't work. So it must be figure number plus two, right? Two plus two is four. Three plus two is five. Four plus two is six. So uh, it's figure number plus two, right? So that means that for figure ten. Figure number plus 2 would be 10 plus 2, that's 12. And for the blue stuff, it's going to be 2 times figure number. Okay, for figure 100, figure number plus 2 would be 102, plus 2 times figure number. And then finally, for figure n, It would be figure number plus 2 plus 2 times figure number. Okay? And then we can simplify that, right? Um, so I have n, and then here I have 2n, so that makes 3n in total. Uh, and then I have 2 plus 2 is 4, so 3n plus 4. Okay, so there's that one. You, you could probably come up with like multiple ways to do part B. Well, I know for a fact that you could come up with multiple ways to do part B. All right, but that's one approach, okay? And then let's look at part C. So for part C, we have these uh, figures. 
So we start off with start off with this uh, figure. And then it goes on to look like that. And then it goes on to look like that. I, I think what's the way that I see the growth. Um, so the way that I see the growth is you have this basic like, you know, two by three that remains fixed throughout. Here you're adding uh, a couple of ones onto the figure. Here you're adding a couple of twos onto the figure. And here you're adding a couple of nothings, right? A couple of zeros onto the figure. So um, so the red part here would be, well, it's a two by three, right? So it's six um, plus zero, I suppose. Here it would be six plus uh, 2 times 1. And here it would be 6 plus, it looks like it's going to have to be 2 times 2. And the 6 is remaining fixed throughout, so I think that for figure 4, it's still going to be a 6 plus, but for figure 4, uh, we went, we went, well here I just called it 0, but maybe I should call it 2 times 0. So we went 2 times 0, then we went 2 times 1, and then 2 times 2, so I think this is going to be 2 times 3. And I think the way that this, so the 2 is remaining fixed, right? But this number is changing, 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. And I think the way it's related back to the figure number is that it's the figure number minus 1, right? So 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 1 is 3. So for figure 10, we'll have 6 plus 2 times figure number minus 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9. And for figure 100, we'll have 6 plus 2 times figure number minus 1. Right? And for figure n, we'll have 6 plus 2 times figure number minus 1. It's n minus 1. So that requires a little bit of simplifying. We've got to actually distribute a 2 this time. So this time the, the parentheses do matter, right? Uh, you've got to distribute that 2. We're going to get 6 plus 2n minus 2. And then you can combine your like terms, right? The 6 and the negative 2 combined to make a positive 4. So this is 2n plus 4. Okay, and that's that one. Now maybe you thought of a different way to do it. Like, like I'll just briefly go over a different way that you could think about it. Um, so well, another way you could think about it is you could say, well, this is 3 plus 3. Right? It's 3 plus 3. Then here it's 4 plus 4. And then here it's 5 plus 5. So then for figure 4, it's pretty clearly going to be 6 plus 6. What's it for figure 10, though? Well, uh, it looks like, you know, I'm going figure number 1 plus 2, right? 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 4 plus 2 is 6, 10 plus 2 is 12. So it looks like for figure 10, it should be 12 plus 12. For figure 100, it looks like it should be 100 plus 2 is 102, plus 102. And then for figure n, I'm guessing it's going to be uh, figure number plus 2 times figure number plus 2. Or not times, plus. Plus. My apologies. It's been a plus this whole time. I don't know why I changed to multiplication over there. But anyway, yeah, figure number plus 2 plus figure number plus 2. Now if we combine the like terms there, we have n plus n is 2n, and 2 plus 2 is 4. Right? Sure enough, right? Anyway, so multiple ways to, to approach that one, but, or to approach any of these, really. There are going to be multiple ways to do it.
But the but the key is, you want to be able to break down the figure so that the little parts that you've broken it down into relate back to the figure number somehow, so that you can see how the, how those numbers relate back to the figure number. And the more visually you can do this, I think the better off you're going to be. So really try to fight against the urge to just count up the number of dots in the figure, right? Really try to fight against that. Try, try to come up with a, a visual pattern for what's going on and see if you can describe that visual pattern numerically, right? Um, okay, so that's it for uh, Investigation 17.